Hey guys, it's Trista. We are still in the throes of homecoming season here, and one thing that I had the hardest time getting used to when I moved to Texas was this whole mum phenomenon. So we just didn't do that in Ohio. <laughs> it's, it's inherently a Texas thing. So you guys loved the how-to videos that my friend Anna and I put together um, like a year or so ago. So I thought I would go back to Anna's house and have her teach me another another braid. So here you have the military braid. And one of these days, my kid's gonna be old enough to want a big old mom. So until then, I'm gonna keep practicing and I'm gonna keep showing you. So here you go. So what are we making? So we're making a military braid. So it's gonna look like this, like this one when it's done. Okay. But we're gonna use these two ribbons. And how wide apart are, or what size are those? These are, I believe they're called a number five ribbon. I'm not really sure, but it's like five-eighths of an inch. Three-quarters of a knuckle. That's how I measure it. Yeah, it's like half, half an inch. Half an inch. And I think it's, I think they, when they saw it, it might be considered five-eighths, but it's half-inch ribbon. Okay. So you're going to take the two, and you're going to put them at a 90-degree angle with each other, so match up the two corners, and then you're going to put a staple there and hold it. And I put a couple just to make sure. And these are long range staples? Yes. You get them at the mom store? Yes. This is it right here. Okay. The stapling pliers. And the staples, three, uh, three eighths of an inch wide. Oh, so they're different So they're staples very, too. yeah, you can't use a standard stapler. And they, they, they staple really tight. Okay. And because of that long extra reach handle, you can get inside when you're uh, trying to maneuver up inside so don't the mom. Don't use a regular stapler. And the regular stapler, the staples are really, really big and they show up, they don't get as tight. So you can just leave the ribbon on the roll. But for this example, I cut the blue one just for okay. ease. But So what you're gonna do is you're going to almost like crochet. So you're going to bend one up and then you're gonna take the other one and do the same thing. But you're gonna take this loop, the blue one, and stick it up inside the white one. So interlocking. Okay, do that for the whole thing? Uh-huh interlocking the two loops. And you think it seems like it's really hard, but it's not. And then you're gonna pull this white one down to kind of be snug against the blue ribbon. At the same time, I'm pulling the blue one down because it was it was sticking out way too far. So you're kind of gonna get them looped around each other. This is the hardest part right here. Is that the beginning of it? Yes, this is so the very this beginning. Is like the beginning of this? Yes. Okay. So you're get, once you get them the two loops around each other and you get them kind of snug and tight to where they're about, this loop is about the same width as this ribbon, mm -hmm. you're gonna put another staple there. Because if you don't staple it, it's gonna slip. And then you're gonna cry because of, you'll get about three or four loops down and it falls all apart. Do you have to keep stapling it all no. along? So just that once you did those two staples, uh -huh. you're good. So now you're going to take it and you're going to do just like what we did. Loop, stick it in here, and then pull it kind of snug through. And then I put my finger there to kind of as a, as a guide. And then you're going to take the blue one and do the same thing. Put it through the white loop. And if you do it a, like, a little extra large there, Going through, it's fine. It won't hurt anything. Because then you're gonna you're gonna pull it. Like, see how much wider it is there. Yeah. So then you're gonna take the tail back here and you're gonna pull it down, where it's snug over the blue one. So you're building the braid away from you? Yes. Well, it's actually, gonna come this way, but you're you're crocheting it over here. And you're using a small ribbon because you're making it larger. Um, you can use larger ribbon, it'll just make it a wider, okay. a wider um, deal, a wider braid when you're done. But I use this same ribbon when I make the large mums as opposed to garters. And then I'll take them and loop them through or loop it around on a mum. If I don't like, if I just want to be different and not have it hang straight down, then I'll have it kind of do a half moon shape on the mum. I mean, as you can see here, we've only been doing this, what, maybe two minutes? Yeah and we're already about six inches long. So it only takes, you know, 15 minutes to make that one. And maybe 30 to make a longer one. Just depends on how many times you have to adjust your ribbon. And then if you just leave the ribbon connected to the spool, then you don't have to worry about cutting it and making it too short, too long, then you're not wasting your ribbon. Because um, then if you pre-cut it, 
Um, and I'm sure there is a table out there somewhere that tells you approximately how much ribbon you need for um, each of these braids. But this is the way I learned how to do it. And it's just, I prefer this method because then I don't waste my ribbon. This ribbon's not cheap. <laughs> I mean, I literally could sit there and I could just talk to you like this because I've been doing it for so long that I don't even really have to look at it as much anymore. I kind of know where my fingers need to be. I know where the loops are. I can sit up and watch her cheer and just keep going. Okay, so we're now getting to the end of the blue here. So this is how you're going to end it. So I usually take it and try to make one final loop here at the end. And it, don't worry if that's not all the way to the end. I just like to tuck in that cut piece. Okay. If you see where the cut blue piece is yeah. there. So I'll pull it tight. And then I just kind of tuck it back under the white a little bit so that it, you can't see it. And then I'll kind of pull this tight for a second. And get my scissors. And cut the white ribbon up as close as I can to the blue without cutting the blue one. So then the white is the white end is tucked up under the blue and the blue is tucked up under the white. And then I staple over the blue one and staple over the white one. And that's it. And it's done. And that's done. I mean, depending on the length that you need. How did you get the to be... It just happened to line up that way, which is kind of cool. I have ribbons with that are blue with like little gold hearts on it. I have white ribbon that has little paw prints because we're the Lobos. So they have little paw prints on them. So it just all depends on what you want to do. And then you can take it and put a, a bow and a bell in the end or... how I make mums and that's how she makes mums.